everybody, welcome to my channel Isa17, thank you very much for being here. Today I'm going to be reviewing three different perfumes from Elizabeth Taylor's and these are perfumes that I consider to be gem. Why? Because they smell delicious, they smell fancy and they are very affordable. <laughs> so you want to hear which ones I'm going to be talking about? Please stay and watch, thank you. Before going into the video, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell. <laughs> okay, so what are these perfumes? are da, 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 these ones right here to me they smells wonderful really nice fragrance so and they i really like them all the same so let's just start with this one you know just randomly so this one right here is called violet eyes this is how the bottle looks and it's by elizabeth taylor in this one even so, it says violet eyes, don't get fooled by the name because you will see all oh, violet, so it's gonna be powdery and all that. No, this one is not that way. I see they name it uh, violet eyes because Elizabeth Taylor had violet eyes. And also, I did hear somewhere that she had two set of eyelashes. So imagine how cool that is, you know? I have to wear my false ones. <laughs> anyway, going to the perfume. This is a beautiful, beautiful beautiful perfume let me read you the notes so that you know what the perfume is about so we have on the top notes we have peach in the middle we have rose and jasmine and in the base notes we have virginia Sera, peony and amber so this perfume what is it about this is a very light airy fresh perfume and it smells wonderful. This perfume to me is very feminine type of perfume. When I smell it, what I think of, I think of, of a princess, you know? Not a queen, no, 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 just a young princess. Not saying that this is for young girls either, but just imagine a young princess, all, you know, delicate, sweet, kind with others. That's what I think of when I smell When I put perfume. it on, I smell the peach in I get to smell the jasmine, the rose, I, I get to smell it but very rarely, I think it, it blends well with the other ingredients here, but I also get to smell a little of the cedar and then the amber. I think this is a beautiful, I don't want to spray it because I don't want to, you know, be spraying the room with a bunch of perfumes, <laughs> but this one is very beautiful. I really, really enjoy this one. I think it's the perfect perfume for summer because it's very light, it's very airy, it's not too much, and it's not too little either. It has a good projection, and the duration also is pretty good. It is a beautiful fragrance, beautiful fragrance. If you are the type of person that like Light Blue by Dolce Gabbana, I think you might enjoy this one because they kind of have the same vibe, you know, the same vibe of being clean, of being fresh, of being airy, you know, that type of vibe. But this one is very feminine because sometimes Light Blue in some people can come across a little masculine and I would think that's because of the apples. You know, I'm not saying that it's a masculine perfume, but I'm just saying that in some people can be that way. Versus this one, I don't think that anybody will have that type of problem because to me this comes across very feminist. I enjoy the peach aroma that it has, that it blends, even so you smell it, it blends very well with the jasmine and with the rose. So it's not like you don't get to I mean, you get to smell everything, but everything together, mixed together. This one is a really nice aroma. It's not powdered at all, like I said. And this is the perfume that I think, even so it's not fancy, like for, I don't know, an elegant party or something like that. It's very fancy, you know? I mean, it's a fancy aroma, but a fancy aroma that you wear for regular occasions, like for going to work, for running errands and stuff like that. But when you put it on, you smell expensive because it's a nice aroma. And even so, it looks like the white diamonds type of bottle, even so this one is purple and the white diamonds are not. But see how we have the same thing here, the little silver stripe here. This one does 
doesn't have anything, anything similar or any smell similar to the White Diamond Collection perfumes. No, this one is totally independent. I don't smell anything of the White Diamonds in here. This is a different aroma from, from that collection. And it's very beautiful. I really enjoy it. I'm surprised because this is very affordable. And the smell is very fancy. <laughs> very fancy. The projection is very good. It's not soft. It's a strong projection. But it's, I mean, it's not going to shock people because it's light. It's every type of perfume. You know, it's uh, a good perfume to wear when that where it is hot when you are outside and it's like oh it's so hot i really don't want any perfume on this one is because here where i live it can get really hot and sometimes when it's so hot and i know i'm gonna be outside like ah, should i really want to wear a perfume or not you know when it's super 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 hot but this is the one that i always grab when it's super hot outside i grab this one and i wear this one and i really like it i really and enjoy it has a good time around six hours on my skin something about that i really really enjoy this one this one is yum yum <laughs> another one that is really nice and I got it not long ago is this one that is called gardenia and look at the flower right there <laughs> it's so pretty this perfume I mean the bottle to be honest with you I'm not that it's not an ugly bottle but I'm not that excited about it about it but the perfume boy the perfume is wonderful <laughs> It's such a beautiful perfume. They make the Gardenia. That's the name of the perfume, by the way, if in case I didn't say it. This is Gardenia by Elizabeth Taylor. That's how the bottle looks like. But anyway, the perfume, they made the Gardenia just right. And this perfume has the perfect name, Gardenia, because that's what you get here. Gardenia It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, and it's very fancy let's let's start with the nose so we have on the top nose we have green leaf and lily of the valley in the middle nose we have gardenia peony and orchid and in the base nose we have mass and carnation i love when perfume have carnation because i think it gives us like a little a little extra a little how can i say it a little extra punch of deliciousness a little extra punch of I don't know, mm, wonderful, <laughs> you know, to the perfume, the high thing of carnation, whenever I see carnation in a perfume. But anyway, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's all about gardenians. If you like gardenians, or if you are interested in trying a perfume that has gardenians, I think this is a good option for you, because here, when I put it on, just all right sorry about that my husband wanted to talk to me so but anyway so i was saying this perfume is all about gardenias that's what i smell here and i smell also some milkiness going on but it's a beautiful perfume really nice and this is a fancy perfume this is a type of perfume that i will wear for special occasions you know when there is a wedding or fancy party something like that but this one is all about being a flower perfume keep that in mind you know it's not uh, fruity flower no, no no it's just flower perfume but it's very beautiful really really nice i'm gonna spray some even so i don't want to spray perfume in the room today oh yeah now this perfume so when you first um spray it you get a little of green nose but the green nose because see this was a bland buy for me and that's what always keep me from buying this perfume because one the bottle look green and i heard people saying oh it's a green perfume a green perfume it's not really a green perfume it's a gardenia perfume to me when i put it on what i smell is definitely la gardenia it is beautiful it's a gorgeous gorgeous gardenia so anyway you get some green notes and you do get to smell it but they are so little that you you have to look for them in the opening 
at first, yes, yes, you get them and you get to smell them, but they are little, they're not much, but you do get to smell them. Now, when it dries down, those green nose, you actually really have to search for them in order to find them because otherwise they're not very detectable. But they are there, but very little, like I said, very little. It's more in the opening when you smell them more, but still, even in the opening, they are not that strong. The star, the big thing of this perfume is the milky gardenia. It's so beautiful, ah, so really nice. This is such a fancy perfume and it's very affordable, very affordable. I'm surprised, really. Ah, very nice, very nice. And the duration on my skin is about six hours. And the projection is really good. It's really nice, strong projection. And like I say, it's the type of perfume that you wanna wear for a special. You can wear it also for every day. Doesn't matter, you know, you are you, you wear your perfume whenever you want to wear them, really. But this one I think is more on the fancy type of aroma. It's very nice and the projection is really good so you don't have to be over spraying because, I mean, I like to do three sprays with this one, but you don't have to get crazy and keep over spraying because it does project pretty well. And it's a really nice aroma. And by the way, it's not vintage, it's not old lady type of perfume. No, 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 no. This is a really nice fragrance. It's a classic aroma. I really enjoy this one very when much. When I got this, I wear this perfume for a whole week straight. You know, every single day I have to put it on because it's so good. I was so in love. I still I'm in love with this perfume because it smells really nice. It's a really nice, beautiful aroma. Okay, so let's move on. Now I have another one for you that I also consider to be a gem because it smells super good and it's very affordable. So this one is called Diamonds and Emerald by Elizabeth Taylor and this is how the bottle looks like. See? Now this one, oh boy, this one is your fancy. Fancy, fancy perfume. <laughs> this is not your everyday let's go to the movie perfume. No, unless that's how you feel, you know. If you put it on and go, that's fine. But this one is a really fancy aroma. This one, it has, I was looking at Fragantica and it has a lot of notes, a lot of notes. So I'm not gonna tell you all the notes. I'm gonna let you go do it. <laughs> you know, check and forget the notes. But it has a lot of flowers. It has, the base notes are very interesting and I'm gonna read those to you in a minute because I think you do get to smell them and I think they do help the perfume to be this wonderful, to me anyway. So to me, the best way to describe this perfume is like this. You get to smell in a small amount the different flowers, all the different flowers. Now, which flowers are they? Let me read you some, but I'm gonna let you go to Fragantica and check out for the nose, or maybe I just write the nose here on the screen. We'll see, but it has a bunch of different nose, a bunch, a bunch of different flowers. So some of the flowers will be, we have in the toe nose and combined with the middle notes will be Flowers like gardenia, peach, orange blossom, white rose, sash, tuberose, jasmine, uh, what else? Different carnation, rose. I mean, these have different, different flowers. And you, as a group, get to smell them. But the start of this perfume is the tuberose. And this is a very beautiful, fancy tuberose perfume. Now on the base nose, which I do want to say those to you, we have vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and patchouli, or patchouli. So the vanilla, yes, is present. The amber, yes, is present. The tonka bean, I smell it very little. And then the patchouli, patchouli, <laughs> Patchouli. I don't know how you pronounce that one, you know which one I'm talking about. And then the mass. Now, these base notes I see are the ones that really support the perfume and make it to be that wow because you got your tuberose, which is the start. Here, the tuberose, you definitely smell it. If you 
want to try this perfume make sure you're the type of person that like tuberose because this perfume is all about the tuberose so here the tuberose is you know i'm here and you smell me but then you also get your bouquet of flowers that as a group you get to smell it you know so you got your big part being the tuberose a small part being your flowers and then a small part being the base nose so you get your tuberose with the vanilla and the mask you get to smell that um a little of the tonka bean and that, those flowers all together is such a beautiful perfume it's such a nice aroma but this is your very fancy aroma now it does say diamonds and emerald let's see the smell that the diamond perfume yes and no i will say yes but very tiny weeny tiny 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 amount of the diamond collection perfume aroma is in here very little very very little not much very little here the star is like i say those beautiful bouquet of flowers the tuberose and then those base notes that are excellent here excellent i really i really enjoy this perfume and this is a fancy perfume this is not a cheap perfume this is not a perfume that you wear for uh simple occasions this is a nice perfume and this is the type of perfume that me myself i will wear for very special occasions you know like for a fancy party a fancy event something when i want to be noticed this is a strong perfume it projects you know tuberose is not a shy flower you have to know that if you don't know it well be aware it's not a shy flower so if you are the type of person that you don't like to call attention to you you might not like this perfume because this perfume projects well and tuberose itself projects well and here is no exception here the tuberose you put it on this perfume and then you smell the tuberose you know and it's strong it projects well i smell myself people smell me so this is not a perfume for shy people because it is strong now does it last yes on my skin it lasts me around eight hours which i think is a really nice projection and it smells super good i really really enjoy this one and like i said this one to me is a very fancy one so just keep that in mind this one it's a fancy aroma, but you can wear it whenever, you know, but it's more, to me, more like a fancy type of aroma. Versus this one is your everyday, it's fancy because it smells so good, it smells like expensive perfume, but to me it's an everyday type of perfume, it's not an aroma that you will wear for, I mean, you could if you're the type of person that, you know, like every fragrance for going to a wedding also, i mean perfumes are yes perfume we can wear it whenever we want to right for whatever occasion that we want when you feel like you want to enjoy one perfume or one aroma then go ahead and put it on right that's how i think anyway so but this one is nice and airy and perfect for summer this one beautiful beautiful <laughs> you know that is a flower perfume and this one too is a flower perfume you hear i mean you get the vanilla that gives it a little sweetness even so this one is not a sweet perfume but you know this is your white flower perfume so these three i really like i really enjoy i think myself they are gems because to me like i said the smell of the three of them are wonderful a really nice expensive type of smell and the price are affordable <laughs> affordable prices so for me those are three big wins and they are all of them are from elizabeth taylor so this one again is called diamonds and emerald this one is called gardenia by elizabeth taylor also and this one is called violet eyes by elizabeth taylor all of them very beautiful but that's it for today if you like this video give me your thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell if you have any questions or comments just leave it down there and i will do my best to answer as i always do <laughs> thank you very much have a good one and i will see you next time bye